construction and evacuation orders are still in place tonight as fire crews continue to fight a wildfire in Nevada County from the ground and the air. Fire crews doing all they can to slow the spread of the flames and protect some building. Hundreds of crews are on the fire lines right now and evacuation orders are still in place. They've been there for some time. Concerns continue that the fire could get to the north part of the Yuba River drainage. If that were to happen, it could start burning into Yuba County. That's what they're trying to avoid. I want to show you some perspective here on the progress made in the past 24 hours. On your left, what it looked like yesterday. A lot of smoke way up high in the sky. On your right today during the 4 p.m. hour, you see big difference there. Cal Fire officials are giving an update right now. Flames have burned more than 900 acres, 10% containment lines around it. That's up from 0% containment earlier today. At least four structures have been destroyed. Three firefighters did suffer heat related injuries. And we do want to update you with this. Uh, just into our newsroom, we have learned 904 acres right now for that fire in Nevada County, and we are now at 10% containment. So that is the latest update on the Rice's fire. Of course, evacuation orders remain in effect for this fire. This map showing the zones impacted. Those zones in red that you can see right there mean people in those areas are told to leave. They need to leave and this includes the towns of French Corral and Birchville. Now in yellow, that's an evacuation warning. People there need to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. That includes the communities of Sebastopol and North San Juan. Live team coverage of the Rice's fire. Leanne Denier is at the Cal Fire briefing. She'll be bringing us updates as they come in. Meteorologist Heather Wallman is tracking the weather conditions out there in Nevada County. Let's start with KCRA 3's Lizay Mitri. She's live near Truce Trail in Nevada County. Lizay, we've been getting live shots from this area for the past 24 hours. What are you seeing now? Ty, we're on Mark Court near Truth Trail in the Birchville area, and you're facing north toward Yuba River. That's where all that smoke is coming from. You can probably hear the helicopters also. We've been seeing a lot of uh, their efforts focused in this same area, doing all those water drops over there where all that smoke is coming up. Take a look at some of the video we captured earlier today. Helicopters made run after run today dumping water on the Rice's fire burning along the south side of the Yuba River near North San Juan in Nevada County. On the north side of the fire, air tankers dropped a line of fire retardant on the trees as a preventative measure. The fire sparked around two yesterday afternoon, burning through this area near Truce Trail. I looked up and just saw this pluming brown gold smoke, right? and then the airplanes came. Connie Burton lives in the Birchville area and was worried her home would be in the fire's path. I mean, we were just waiting to see if it came over the mountains. I'm shaking talking about it. It was like, I mean, and it was right here, you know, and the, fortunately the wind was going that direction. This is what the scene looked like today. A mailbox stained pink from fire retardant, this white van blackened from the fire and hot spots still burning. Crews on the ground took care of those areas still smoldering. While those who live nearby keep a close eye on the fire's progress and the fight to stop it. Well, we didn't know whether it was going to still come this way or not. And that's very anxiety provoking, you know, at least. Culture is a funny thing. All right, we just lost Lizay's shot, which happens in the field. We've got, you know, some, some technology out there that can be spotty from time to time. We're going to get it over to meteorologist Heather Waldman right now for an outlook on the conditions. And thank goodness it's a little bit cooler for firefighters out there today. You know, it is. And we're starting to see some improvements in other parts of the weather conditions as well. I was just checking on the computers over there. Temperature still sitting in the upper 80s, but the wind speed has come down. Fortunately, the winds really haven't been a huge problem for the last 24 hours, but sustained right now at three miles per hour, gusting barely to to seven miles per hour. Also noticed the humidity has come up just a little bit. It's been hovering in the teens this afternoon. That is now up to 22%, which is higher, by the way, than it was all of last night. The next couple of nights, we'll start to see that humidity make some modest improvements as well. So weather conditions helping rather than hurting at this point. 
But as we go through the next couple of days, smoke is going to continue to be an issue. This is one model showing the smoke plume moving off to the north and east this afternoon. Not as strong as what it was yesterday, but it's also lower to the ground overnight tonight as the winds kind of settle down into the gorges. That smoke is also going to settle and guys without a major shift in the winds coming anytime soon. That smoke's going to kind of hang out for a few days. Something worth noting for anyone with holiday plans in that area. All right, Heather, thank you so much for that update. And we know a lot of people are still out of their homes tonight, and we want to bring you the latest information about evacuations and road closures. There is a QR code right there at the bottom of your screen, so grab your phone now. You can scan that code with your camera, and that will take you straight to an article on our website about the Rice's fire. We continue to update that with all of the latest information.